Hi everyone, it's Nina um, here. Just wanted to quickly share my mixed media morsels number six. Kat posted the um, criteria the other day, which was inches or the theme. That's that's a better word, isn't it? But Kat posted the theme the other day, um, and this time it was um, inches. Never made inches before, but have always wanted to try them. But to be honest, I've always been a bit overwhelmed and, and frightened to try inches. I think simply because of the, the size of them. Um, I haven't got that many um, small stamps, or at least I didn't think I had. But actually, I've bought quite a few doodle stamps re recently. And there are some smaller stamps in those sets which I could have used. But I had a quick look through um, my paper stash and... Um, as most of you have probably realised now that I quite like bright colours and, and doodling lots. So I had a look through um, my papers to see what I had. And I painted um, some doodle papers ages ago. Um, these were just done on scrap piece of paper. In fact, actually in my drawer here, I can show you. They were in a spiral bound little notebook. It's not particularly good quality paper or anything and I don't know why I started painting um, in that book but I did. Um, I obviously took it the pages apart um, and just I think it was when I first had my Dilusions um, paints and I was was practicing um, and this this is what I came up with. That one I was obviously chopped up for, for some reason. That was another one um, I did. And this is the one that I used um, for, for, for the inches. So I took all of these prints down to my local printers yesterday and had them photocopied onto a piece of, well, it's sort of like glossy, glossy cardstock really. Um, the ones that I've used for the inches was, was on here as well, but I've obviously cut it up. Um, and I ended up, after chopping them up into inch squares, with a load of little pieces um, like this. These are these are just the leftover bits and bobs. But that's what they looked like. Um, and then I decided um, that I would make some embellishments with craft wire to go on the top. Um, I've got loads of craft wire left over from my jewellery making um, days. So I've got it all out and my jewellery pliers etc and started fiddling away um, making some simple simple shapes. Well, in fact, the plan was to make some simple shapes. Some of them turned out to be a lot more complicated than I than I realised. That was a little um, treble clef, um, some music notes, um, letter N. The butterfly gave me particular trouble. Um, it wasn't particularly hard to do the individual pieces, but I really struggled to put it together and get it to stay put as a butterfly. So that one took a lot of time, as did the flower. Um, I struggled um, getting it to look like a like a flower shape. In the end, it turned out to be really simple. But um, I should have probably watched a YouTube video um, and saved myself a lot of time. Um, but although um, I think it looks quite good on the page now, it's taken me most of the day to achieve this. Um, I started at about half past seven this morning. I was up at six this morning because my son's gone up to Manchester to. Um, a rowing competition and I had to get him to the minibus at quarter past seven this morning so I was up and dressed at um, at six so I came straight into my craft room because my husband was still um, in bed asleep and started working um, on these and I was still at it at probably oh 1.30 this afternoon <laughs> but I'm pleased with it the background that I put them on also gave me um a lot of trouble. I found a really nice olive green that I thought would work really well, um, which was an Amsterdam paint. So I painted one of my pages, gave it two or three coats and stuck them on. Um, then I decided to give it a border um, with black, um, I can't remember what pen um, I used. Oh, it's this new one. I bought this Uniball eye pen and put little dots around the, the border and it smudged like mad and made a complete and utter mess so I had to take them all off. In fact actually under, underneath the card here are the original page that I had stuck it onto and I had to carefully cut round it and then remount it again. So I opted for just simple black cardstock um, but again another happy accident. So there it is, I'm really pleased with the way that um, that, that one turned out too. Hope you like it. See you again soon. Bye.